YouTube, it's Zane here from At Home with Zane, and today's video is going to be a little more casual. Um, today I'm going to take you on a short tour of our dining room to share with you some of our 2016 um, fall home decor. So right now I've been working on putting together some of our fall decor. Um, this year I'm going with a really neutral theme. Um, I call it the softer side of fall. And so a lot of the items that I'm going to show you today are DIYs that I'm going to share with you in the future on how to put together. But for right now, let's go to the dining room and let's take a look. So YouTube, this is our dining room. Um, this is our dining room table. And as I said before, I'm using a really neutral color palette this year as far as our fall decor goes. So I have a really neutral tablecloth here um, on the table that I bought at TJ Maxx. And then the placemats came from Home Goods. The chargers came from the dollar store uh, last year at Christmas. And then the white plates and the green plates also came from the dollar store. And then on top, I have one of my little simple white chalk white pumpkins with twine. And I am going to do a DIY on how to create those. Um, if you saw my recent video on how to use serving trays for your decor, here is how I utilized that on our dining room table. And then also here is the hydrangea pumpkin that I did a DIY on um, that's sitting on our cake stand here. So that's a really nice look. Um, the table runner came from Home Goods, and I've had that for several years. Um, but with the green apples and the pops of green that I'm going with this year, that worked out really well. Um, I'm going to pan over here to our buffet. So on the buffet, I have a really old vintage um, scale that I bought in an antique mall several uh, several years ago. And then on top of that, I just have some um, green apples in a white ceramic bowl. This was a dish that was actually black, it's wooden, and I painted it a real neutral color to go with my neutral palette this year for fall. And then there are also some more of my um, chalk white pumpkins in there. And then I took some craft uh, tags and twine and wrote the words autumn and autumn harvest on there. And then I put it on those little wooden um, stands. And so I'm really, I'm really addicted to those little pumpkins this year. Um, over here, I have another one of my white chalk pumpkins inside of a cloche with some craft grass, and I got that cloche in Antique Mall several years ago, and then I just have a really neutral table runner here. Um, this is a picture frame from Walmart that I've uh, taken a fall free printable, and I printed it and put it in there so that um, it would change for the seasons, and that's a really inexpensive way to change out your pictures for different um, occasions. And then over here is just a really basic white candle um, that's unscented. And then this is our scent pot. I got that at um, Yankee Candle many years ago, and right now it's filled with mold cider and vanilla, so that smells really, really good. Uh, this is one of our china cabinets that's filled with some milk glass and just some basic white uh, glass dishes in there. And then over here is our um, fireplace and our mantle. And so on the fireplace, I have two uh, touch lamps. And then I created that cake stand out of a cheese dome um, and a cheese dome plate and a candlestick. And then I purchased the white vase from a store called Here Today. And the flowers came from the dollar store. And I'm actually going to keep those out for fall. I think they look really nice together. And then I just um, cut a piece of really chic material and used it on top of the mantle. And then I created this little um, stand over here out of a candlestick and a glass candle plate from the dollar store. And then I added a large pillar candle to it with some jute twine. And then here I um, painted that pumpkin so that he would be nice and rustic looking. Over here I have a white uh, antique chair that I painted white. And then if you saw my gold glam video, I did a video on how to paint books. And so I took those white painted books tied some twine around it and laid it in that chair and that creates a nice uh, chic farmhouse look I think. I like the way that turned out. And then panning over here, uh, these are some wooden library chairs that we got from Pottery Barn. Um, over here on this side table I have, this is a really large glass um, jar that I got from a uh, 
thrift store and I added a lid to it and then I filled it with pine cones. So it sort of looks like a large glass cookie jar. And then this was a white dish that I painted heirloom white. I'm sorry, it was a clear glass dish and I painted it heirloom white. And then I added some of my um, fall DIY pumpkins to it. And I bought the table runner from the dollar spot at Target and it was actually $3. And then I took a large um, white coffee mug and I just simply put that little boxwood in there and that looks really cute. And then over here, I also did the free printables and put them in this frame that rests on this um, side table and that looks really nice and adds to my chic farmhouse look. And then below, I have these acorn and um, nuts and pine cone trees, a large white pumpkin, and then another little chalk pumpkin that's resting on um, some books with a hydrangea top. And then here we have um, another one of our large uh, Pottery Barn library chairs. And I just simply placed a little uh, fall pumpkin in there. And these chairs, they're really old. They're starting to, to wear and take a little bit of a beating, but I still love them, so I can't part with them. Um, up here, I did the same thing. If you saw my DIY not too long ago on how to use picture frames to create new artwork, it's a really great idea. Um, I found some more fall printables and I put them in these picture frames and it works out really well for the season. And then above this china cabinet, I have my orbs. I did a DIY on those. And then I have that um, bird cage and uh, candle up there. And then over here, we have a rocking chair in our dining room, and I have a little fall pillow in there that I got from Home Goods, and another one of my little chalk pumpkins. And then uh, on the dining room table, this basket is actually, it was black, and I painted it white. And then in this little dish here, I added some green apples, and then I added some really large candles to that um, carrying basket. And that, again, goes with my farmhouse look. And so right now it's all still kind of a work in progress, but I wanted to give you a little brief tour and share with you our dining room. Um, so stay tuned for more DIYs and some more home tours. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can visit my website, www.athomewithzane.com. We'll look for you the next time. And remember, it's your home. Create a space you'll truly love.